guys i'm going to yoga today but for now dean and i will have a breakfast at cycling and it's a market day today so everyone is sitting up their stores you can see it's still a bit very well um, yep it's seven o'clock it's a bit dark as, as you can see <laughs> Camera lady coming. Are you? <laughs> You're gonna cover your face? No, not really. Oh, We're at Psycho now. Good morning, Sue. Good morning. How can I help you? <laughs> There's more. Alright, I will get through. Just show you how it looks like. Hello, good, and you? That's good. That's oh, a good one. Oh, thanks. 21st century technology there. <laughs> Not so many people at this time around. Right. Let's go back to the coffin. Mama Ya guys around let's say in between 10 or 11 there will be heaps of people coming up. So yeah. Right and back at the cyclone cafe. It's a cyclone cafe. Oh we know how you guys and <laughs> We're papunta kami sa city for my yoga. My yoga starts at eight o'clock and it's now seven forty-eight. So we'll be fine. All right. to think <laughs> oh sh what are you doing strange looking car all right guys papunta na kami sa yoga time yoga studio no not a studio all right we'll see you there and you do not tell you guys So we're going to do a bit of a, a yang yin style sort of class so it's going to be a fairly sort of strong uh, first part uh, with some standing postures and some dynamic movement and then we're going to finish off with some longer holds some nice ways to open up the hips 
So sit comfortably. We'll just uh, spend a little while just tuning into our breath. Just This will really help us with our practice. So sitting in your comfortable position, just letting your hands rest on your knees or in your lap. Just allow your spine to lengthen up. <clears throat> and then with your next inhale, breathe down into the belly and then feel this breath. Rise all the way up into the chest. Feel your chest rise. Okay, taking a couple of breaths in this way in your own time. All right, keeping this breath flowing. Just gently start to reopen your eyes. And if you aren't ready, looks like most of you are, just coming into a cross-legged position. And just take your hands onto your knees. Take an inhalation, just lift up a little higher through the spine. And with your exhale, start to round through your back. Drop your chin in towards the chest and round your spine as much as you can. Then with your inhale, start to lift back up. Press the chest forward and arch your back. Lift your gaze up towards the sky. And again, exhale, start to round through the spine. So there's a C curve. And then inhale, coming forward, arching the back, lifting your gaze. Okay, once you finish your last one, just return to your neutral sitting position. And then from here, we're going to inhale. We're going to reach up through the arms, extend up nice and high. And then exhale, take the right hand down and side bend over to the right. Inhale, making your way back up. And exhale, over to the right. Just starting to open up the side body a little bit more now. Inhale, lift. Exhale, to the other side. Let's move through once more each side. And with your next inhalation, lift up, reach up, extend up as high as you can. And then exhale, tip forward from your hips and start to reach your arms forward. Come into a little forward fold here. Just have a little gentle sway from side to side just so you can loosen off those hips a little. Awesome. All right, coming over onto your knees from here and drop your bottom back and come into a child's pose. So you can have your knees out a little bit wider. Reach your arms out in front of you, drop the forehead towards the ground. Let's take a couple of breaths here. To drop your hips towards the ground, you lift through the chest and gaze forward. Just a gentle, down, easy up dog. Then inhale, start to lift your hips back and exhale, come back into your child's pose. We're gonna come up into a downward dog from here. So tuck your toes under the back, start to lift the knees, lift the hips, and reach those hips up as high as you can. Come up high onto your toes, so those heels are lifting as high as they can. Get those hips up a little higher and then start to release the heels down and press those hips a little further back. And let's start to bicycle out through the legs. So just drop down through the left heel, bend deeply into the right knee, and then switch sides, bend into the left knee, drop through the right heel. And just switch from side to side. So this time as we inhale, we're going to reach up through the right leg, reach it up as high as you can, and then exhale, shift. Inhale, lift. Exhale, coming forward. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward. All right, let's do the other side. So with your inhalation, start to lift up through the left leg, reach it up. Exhale, come forward towards plank. Knee to the outside of the left elbow. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale, lift. Slight lift and press back through the hips. What we want to do is press our hips back. So reach your hips behind you. Press them back and then just let your torso reach out over that front leg. And then just go as far as you can. And then just slide your left hand down to where it may reach. So for some of you, that might be the knee, that might be the shin, might be the ankle, might be the ground. And then reach up through. Can't reach the ground, don't worry about it. 
most important thing with this position is that your spine is lengthening. You're reaching the crown of the head forward. Then with your next inhalation, little bend into that front knee, making your way back up, release the arms. And then take the hands down and just briefly back into downward dog. Take a breath in your downward dog, press up and back through those hips, drive out through the arms. the head drop so what we're trying to do here is just let the head be lower than the heart so we get some good oxygen supply and blood supply back to the brain the upper part of the body also helps to relax the heart just going to be a couple of options for a back arch so you can take your hands onto the backs of the hips roll the chest and shoulders open and you can just gently press the hips forward and come into a very supported back arch. So if you have for those of you that want to take it a little bit further, you can tuck your toes under the back and you can reach your hands down for your heels. Pressing the hips forward, arching your spine, lifting your chest. And you may like to gaze up towards the sky. Your heels and lower your forehead towards the ground. And then you like to close the eyes and we'll just take three more long, deep, relaxing breaths here. Into downward dog. Okay, so we're coming now into the slower part of our class. We're going to get more into the hips now. So for some of you, that front shin will need to be on a 45 degree angle. For others, you can move more up towards a 90 degree angle. Just depends on how open your hips are. But let's inhale, just lift up onto the fingertips and then exhale, gently lower down, coming down onto your elbows or if you can come down further, go for it. Inhale, slowly easing yourself back up, come back to centre, release the legs, and then extend out through your right leg, placing your left foot up on top of the knee of the thigh, right hand to the knee, left arm out to the side. Inhale here, and then exhale, taking that knee down towards the right, rolling the hip and shoulder away from each other, gazing upward or over the arm. Let the back of your head go completely heavy. You can soften down through the neck, the shoulders, the arms. na yung yoga and yeah, it was good and I hope you guys enjoy this video and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and if you've got any suggestions please comment down below thank you have a great weekend bye
Oh, please. Oh, please.